This is an installation I've done called Photographic Proof, and um, it's a large-scale mural. It's about uh, 66 feet long and about 18 feet high, and it's uh, placed onto the north facade of the Canadian Centre for Architecture using a new uh, material that's been created by the 3M company. What it allows me to do is to create a very large image that actually becomes a part of the building. The subject of the photographs that you see in the mural is um, an implosion of a Kodak film plant in uh, Chalon, Cerson, France, which is where photography was invented. The um, installation team of three installers has just finished putting up 21 separate panels uh, to create one image. The process that they use is there's an adhesive backing to the, to the material, to the 3M material, and then once the, the image is in place, they heat it and apply pressure to really make it a part of the building. And if you walk up closely to the uh, image, you'll, you'll actually see the texture of the stonework and the shapes of the bricks coming through the image. The whole installation, I think, is really uh, about my grappling with two technologies that define photography today. One is the traditional technologies that have been around since photography was invented. That's uh, photographic film and, and papers, light sensitive materials. And the other is um, digital imaging technologies, which are relatively new. The image that you see is a digital image. It's a construction. And uh, it's, it's created on a laptop computer but the image is of a particular kind of Polaroid, peel apart Polaroid material, which is why you see the, the positive and the negative uh, pieces to it. Uh, and it's really a kind of homage to the uh, photographic process as it existed. Uh, you see not only the, the negative image, which has disappeared from uh, photography these days, we don't use negatives anymore, uh, next to the positive image, but you see the, the results of chemistry interacting with those materials. You see a lot of the uh, packaging that was used to enclose the material to keep it in the dark during exposure and development. So it's kind of monumentalizing this material culture around photography. It's um, really getting everyone to kind of look at that and consider that technology uh, as it passes into history.